Hello, everybody. It's me, Johnny Juicebox. We're just gonna do a quick, quick audio quick. test. Quick audio quick. test. Sounds good. All right. We are doing. We're gonna stick it to the Miz on undisputed my rise. Ooh. Oh, but first things first. I have to change the entrance because I made an entrance video. <laughs> Anyone who's downloaded the character will notice that there is a very different Tron going on. It's this Tron. Honestly, like, yeah, let's do that. All right, <laughs> but yeah, right now you can go on the Creative Club, get Juice Box. All right, let's talk to Troy. Troy. So good, good to see, see you, man. We love you Troy. Too, hey, Donna. Champ. Your, your big, big victory solidifying your status as the only champion on SmackDown has Miz in the most cheerful mood. Hey, bud. Believe me. You want to come up here? Delighted. Sarcasm. You want to be on camera, bud? I dig it. Donna. What do you and our must-see general manager have for me now? A live interview on the bump that you're already running late for. And believe me, you don't. Come here. Oh, I won't. I've Come never here. been more eager to tell the WWE You're allowed up here. about the Miz's stellar leadership. Great! There's a car waiting outside. Aww. It's not a limo or an SUV. It's actually a compact rental car that you'll be driving yourself. Look, Donna, it's the people at home. And it will actually be more than that if you don't fill up the gas before you return it. Wow. You guys really know how to treat your champions. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Troy. Troy. Is that the heating pad? Is it warm? No. <sighs> I'm throwing up Donna's. Some say the story was finally completed on night two of WrestleMania when Cody Rhodes won the World Heavyweight Championship at last. But it felt like a beginning to me, Kayla. I agree, Byron. But our guest at the time is also in the midst of an incredible story. Please welcome the man who won the main event on night one, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Hey, you. Welcome, Welcome, champ. Huge night for you at WrestleMania. Thanks, Byron. First, congratulations to Cody. He's been in the hunt for a long time. From one champ to another, here's to you. <laughs> As Cody begins his championship journey, yours is becoming a marathon. I remember right after you won the WWE Universal title, Roman Reigns joked that you would last a month. Now it is day 666, and ooh, uh, that's not bad luck for your upcoming match. Wait, do you know something I don't? What match? Uh, yes, it wasn't meant to come out that way, but we do have some significant news to share on that front. Oh. Create a blow or big reveal, Byron. Yeah, Byron. Anyway, Miz gave us the exclusive on your next championship defense. Well, I'm here. Might as well say it. Before I do, just remember we're only the messengers. This is straight from the Miz. You will defend the undisputed WWE Universal <coughs> Championship against five other superstars in an Elimination Chamber match. I think nice. his words were actually, I'll put the toughest opponents from his past inside a cage and see if he's lucky enough to survive. Ha 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 ha. Bye, Donna. <laughs> Uh, thoughts? I'm not phased. Sure, 
This will be one of the greatest tests of my reign in the Elimination Chamber. And Miz can bring out all the heavy hitters he wants. But I'm not going to need luck. Luck isn't going to enter the picture. They used to call me the Dark Horse. But now the WWE Universe knows that I am a workhorse. I'm going to out-hustle every man in the chamber. And I'm going to walk out still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Because Miz sets him up. And I knock him down. Okay. So, anything else you want to cover? Uh, I think you made your point. <laughs> Oh man. Enjoy these final moments before you kiss your title goodbye, Psycho Juice Box. Alright. Hey, Regal. Look, Look at the, the smile. smile. You, you look, look entirely too happy to be a general manager. I finally <laughs> got the champion I should have had for quite some time. Cody? Good, Good for him. him. Good for the business. He's an amazing talent carrying quite the legacy. I'm proud of him. I get your relief. The World Heavyweight title gets passed around so much over on Raw that it must have been hard to keep track. Hopefully Cody can hang on to it for a while. Hopefully you can hold on to the WWE Universal Championship through the Elimination Chamber tonight. Hey, bug. This has assembled quite the rogues gallery. Yeah, consisting mostly of guys I already beat. Overconfidence can blind one to unseen threats. Hmm, yum, yum, yum. I'm coming up on two <laughs> years as WWE Universal Champion, Regal. I think I've earned a little confidence at this point. Well, how you've changed. It would be interesting. What? If you get through the Elimination Chamber, perhaps Miz and I should start a conversation about the match everyone expected on your first night as champion. Don, what are you doing over there? You. This is Cody Rhodes. Something, something, Cody Match Rhodes. Match everyone expected me to lose. Bring it on. Wonder who the odds would favor this time. A fine question indeed. One that's been hanging over my head for a long time. I'm thinking maybe you're right. And it's time we answered it. Maybe. But we'll talk more later. If you can survive tonight. Good luck. Hmm. Whoa, it's Kane. At Kane in an elimination chamber? I don't know if he ever was in one. Hmm. What do you think, Donna? I got those ears. What a happy cat. Donna, who's next? Oh, it's Seth Rollins.
<laughs> belly, belly, belly. Aww. A decade of being WWE's freaking workhorse, and the WWE <laughs> universe is finally singing his praises. Dun 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 dun. dun. Everything get out of my way. Kevin Steen. Dozens of the toughest men and women in WWE history have braved this structure, and this combatant joins their ranks tonight. Hmm. So I guess Logan Paul's probably going to be in this too, huh? Oh my god, Donna found plastic somewhere. Donna, what do you have? There you go, your naked time ended because you decided to chew on plastic. Now you have a collar. He gonna get in the get in the pod. Ladies and gentlemen, the social media icon has arrived. <sighs> Hmm. Logan Paul is extremely self-confident with so few matches to his name, but the dude has transformative punching power that can turn anyone's lights out in one shot. There's a palpable energy that races through a capacity crowd when Logan Paul heads into the ring to compete. You can feel it now. Champion tonight, and the WWE Universe is buzzing about it. 
the champion is ready to break free and unleash chaos. We. <laughs> Look at the champ strutting toward the ring like a conquering hero, admiring trophies from his past battles. I'm oh, pretty sure his opponents remember those battles too, and let's just say they're not lining up to exchange pleasantries. Let's see if history repeats itself or is rewritten. I select that one. Nope. All right. Coming back into the rank, back to the action. On the outside now. No place is safe in the elimination chamber, but the outside is especially dangerous. Let's just go up here. Let Logan Paul and Kane have have some fun with each other for a bit. Like it didn't save because I swear originally I selected poison mist as one of my things and it's very clearly not here Super. 
sends out of the corner. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Now the weakened arm can limit you in so many ways. Maybe a little bit executed. Even sit up to do it. What? All right, y'all saw it. The targeting just does not work in this game. Come on, Mac. Oh, hey, Seth. DDT. People just getting thrown out of the ring. Right to the kidneys from behind. Just carrying the opposition in the There we go. I thought the champ had it. A long two and a half in the waiting moments of this match. Oh, come on. It's not letting me do my finisher at all. Come on, just roll out. Man, I can't even tell what's happening right now. This is insane. Huh. Oh, Seriously? I didn't even realize I was moving. Just eliminate someone so I can tell what's happening. Truly cannot believe that didn't even get a one count. Going way up high. On the top. Fucked up. Inverted suplex. Out of the ring on the chamber floor now. Coming back in the ring. 
Why? Why do you want to stop me from from beating Kevin Owens? Kevin Owens walks in and immediately gets a fist in the mouth. Damn. Whoa, Kane's eliminated? It's a rope break? Fucking hell! Oh, this is gonna be a rope break for sure. <sighs> Why is the ring like... See, the ring seems like it's half the size it usually is. Letting me. There it goes. <laughs> I guess Juice Box has taken Logan Paul to Suplex City. Yeah, just beat the shit out of each other while I'm over here. Ah. Hey. Hey, Logan. Good to see you again. What 
What is that move that he was going for? We did it. Juice Box is still the champion. And Miz is pissed. Gunther versus Juice Box. <laughs> he doesn't even get an actual number. He's just 600 plus. Toughest opponents from my past in the elimination chamber. So now what? Do I take some time off? Maybe hit the golf course? Rest up and recover? <laughs> nah. I don't think so. See, there's one other superstar in WWE who's actually been champion longer than I have. And I've been hearing rumblings for a long time that he deserves what I have. That somehow he's more worthy than me. I'm talking about you, Gunther. I'm ready to quiet all the doubters once again. You think you deserve what I have? Then come and try to take it. Let's go fuck with Gunther. Gunther, 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 Gunther. <laughs> hey Ava, what's up? Hey, I know you've, you've been dominating, dominating but, but looks like you might have an even bigger test coming with Gunther and Imperium. Probably, Probably makes sense to get ready for anything. anything. And, and since, since there isn't a ton of time, you might as well, as well get ready for everything all at once. once. How about an Extreme Rules match against Tommaso Ciampa? It's the perfect way to prepare for that tough battle ahead, you know? Wait, I wanted to see... Yeah, let's fuck with Baron Corbin, I guess. Oh, burn the ships. It's Baron Corbin. And the wolf dogs taking control of his own destiny. This is the newly focused, as some have said, revitalized Baron Corbin. A man who believes his return. Honestly, it's the most interesting character I've ever seen him with, so fight you can believe. That's what we're about to get. Him and Brown Breaker make a pretty fun tag team too. Corbin are paid for by friends of Corbin. 
That's inaccurate. Corbin doesn't pay me anything to be his friend. <laughs> I gotta get water because I did not prepare. Ready to take what's his. Baron Corbin is ready to go. But believe me, Corbin has zero concern about the wreckage and collateral damage. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through WWE. What? <coughs> Juice Box does not represent the Road Warriors in any way. And I'm not sure why it's doing that, and I don't know. Uh, don't know how to change it. <laughs> Dark Horse. Characters with my faction since it's such a pain in the ass fucking mode. Other face. Oh man, more face. Corbin. Cloud has been lifted in the locker room. Everyone is much calmer. Glad I could help. That really doesn't sound like Seamus. <laughs> wow.
<laughs> wow. All right. Cool. <sighs> Fight night. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Biggie is ready to the ring, representing the Rolling Roots from the Yeah! Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Seamus! Looking at the career. Shame as he's been successful in both singles and tag team competition. I feel like a shillelagh's not big enough. With anyone who steps up to him. I wonder when Seamus is coming back. It's the dark horse. Hey. From the internet, weighing in at 218 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Psycho Johnny. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? The reins are off. Yeah, Byron. Hey. It's that innate love of the fight that's kept Sheamus at this high level for this long. He's not going to back down from a fight anytime soon, that's for sure. Corey, I don't even think Sheamus knows the meaning to back down. And across the ring, a man looking at the title. Well, I won't back down. You got to hope he isn't taking it easy. Even though the title's not on the line, you just know the vultures are circling. It's important he projects strength if he wants to keep his reign strong. Sheamus looked like he may have been the one to receive some lunch there. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely oh, done. no. Hellacious power slam! Haha, <laughs> 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 Sheamus. Take that. Oh no! No, not my neck. I need that. Oh, no. 
Oh my god, it's the mandible claw. We got him. We got Sheamus. The Dark Horse is on a roll. <sighs> For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. Sheamus can't be happy with this outcome. <sighs> I'm sorry, everyone. I'm. I got a bunch of dental work done over the week, and I am just still in pain and not doing great. So. You know, not as talkative, not as energetic, just tired all the time. Now I'm going to fuck up Cameron Grimes' face. Whatever happened to Cameron Grimes? They, moved, they called him up and then they were just like, never mind, we're not going to do anything with him. We saw Late Night with the Devil last night, and it was good. I would recommend it. I still don't know why it thinks he's Road Warrior Animal on the moveset page. A once forgotten man who is now etched in the annals of WWE history. This is inspiration personified. Sure, but he better be careful or he might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. It usually doesn't end well for him. Eh. It's time to silence the critics and make some noise. Tattle tail with tall tails. Jesus Christ, Grimes, get your shit together. Enziguri. Come on, Cameron Grimes. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. And Grimes evades that. Right knee left. Oh. All right. 
right. Let's go, Cameron Grimes. Never wake up. And I guess he didn't. I guess this is a happening. Corey has money on my opponents for sure. You should make a sign that says Corey has a gambling problem. Get some points. Fucking way she goes. All right. Oh my God! It's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse. Can I have your autograph? Oh my God! It's you. Hey Geneva. What brings you to these parts? If you finally ditched in that indie promotion and hit in the big time? Never. TBD is my home. TBD. No, I love the blood, sweat, and tears of the indies. Gloss and glamour. Gotta say, Seriously? the indies are pretty fun to watch. I guess you've missed the last couple years of my run here. Jeez, relax. Somebody's lost their sense of humor since they worked for me. Sorry, I'm just a bit on edge with everything that's been going on. You know, if you want to get some extra work in to prepare for Gunther, we've got a TBD show coming up. And we just so happen to have an opening on the card. Sounds great. We'll nice to get some work in to prepare for Imperium. Alright. I guess, I guess like an RSVP yes to TBD. What's the ETA? That's the spirit. I'll send you the details. Deets. It'll be good working with you again, Geneva. Ooh. Look at all this shit. El Ordinario. Huh. All right. Cool. Unlocking some of those stadiums. Oh shit, this is cool. Oh, Mike Shake would love this map. This arena. Ho 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 yeah.
<sighs> yeah. Man, this is such a cool arena. It reminds me of when me and Mike, like, go to indie shows that are being held at, like, the Masonic Center. <laughs> like, that's the kind of feel it's got. <laughs> Or like the ballroom at the at the uh, at the convention center downtown, shit like that. Whoa. Bam! Bam! <laughs> what? What's happening? Huh? Wow. God damn. <laughs> Yup, yup, yup. Whoop. Oh no. Cole Quinn's gonna get me. Alright. <clears throat> Watch me. Don't. Cole Quinn died from his wounds. <laughs> yeah, that's an awesome map. Arena thing. Now that's what I'm talking about! Top-notch TV action! 
was wrestling at its finest. I guess. As the person in the ring, I can assure you, it most definitely was not. <laughs> no need to be salty. This was a great night. You knew that was going to happen with Imperium, didn't you? You set me up. No. And, frankly, I cannot believe after all we've been through you could accuse me of something like that. Set you up? Working with Imperium? No. Now, did I think it was a possibility that Imperium could find out you were wrestling for TBD and show up? Yeah. Is that maybe part of the reason I asked you? Sure, but that's not the same thing as setting you up. Look, you got a chance to get work in, and I got a chance to make some dough. So we both win! Did we? I'm starting to remember why I stopped working with you guys. Always looking to make an extra buck. Yeah! Isn't that the whole point? It's a business. And business is going to be good after all the buzz around this. <laughs> Glad I could help. <laughs> Me too. Oh, I wonder if we should get tickets for that Nick Nemeth and Swoggle thing. Night of stand up and stories or whatever. Japan sounds good. We can fight Chosen. Oh man, are you not gonna? Are you not able to get all of the, all of the arenas and stuff for this one? Just playing through once. Man, that sucks. Man, it's Chosen. I can't believe we got Chosen here. Psycho juice box. Dun -na 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 Booyaka booyaka six one nine. Alright Chosen, I'm sorry, I know we got some fun history, but I gotta beat the piss out of you. Ah. 
<laughs> Leap. Oh no. Taking Chosen to Suplex City. Come on, Chosen, don't be that way. Oh man, we're going back to Suplex City. Come here, buddy. Let's never wake up. Woo! Chosen will never wake up again. Maybe we could still make it to Japan. Or to Mexico. Oh, well, according to this, I still got the Arena Estadal. Aw, oh, man, did I not get that cool TVD arena? Maybe I already have it. Hey, I know you've been dominating, but it looks like you might have an even bigger test coming with Gunther and Imperium. Yes. We listened to you already, Ava. It's weird, right? Yeah, all you have to do is look up Psycho Juice Box in your in your uh, in the Creation Club or Creation whatever the Creation thing in downloads, and we've got all sorts of fun shit there. I've been toying with just making one big psycho juice box arena <laughs> just think we could put 
little Psycho Juice Box logos on all the on all of the turnbuckles. Since it's just a big dumb square, we could make the the entire ring mat could just be Psycho Juice Box logo. Actually, this the more I talk about it, the more fun this seems. Um, I'm still going to be making uh, Sadako and Kayako in the game again. Uploading those. I'm pretty sure I uploaded them in the last year's game, but nobody downloaded them, so... I don't know how big of a... I don't know how much of a... like, desire there is for those characters in this game, but I thought it would be fun. If you want ring and ring and grudge characters in there, those should be going up at some point in the future, probably in the next week. Cause I have not made them yet. Hey, look, Jessica Carr is here. Oh yeah, this is a. I forgot. This is. They want tables. Whoa! Can't believe you did that to my table. Yeah, Corey. Come on, buddy. The mandible claw. No, leave me alone, Champa. <laughs> wow. Oh no, I'm getting thrown around. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. A ladder. Things are about to get high risk and very painful. Ah, 
took off the, uh, the of the last Yum, yum, yum. What? Why would it do that? <clears throat> so, like, can you just not lift people on the tables anymore? buddy we gotta we gotta do this flaming table spot Making these water bottles a weapon is the greatest thing that's ever happened in this game. It's so fucking funny to me. Ah! I just did my signature and it did nothing! There we go. Never wake up. <laughs> what a match. I don't think beating Champa has ever really changed anyone's career that much. I might be wrong about that. But... Hmm. Remember, right now, if you go on the, the creation station on, on 2K24, you can download Juicebox. He's downloadable now.
just type in psycho juice box on there and most stuff will pop up oh it's tavish All Tavish, what do we got? Listen, Chime, I've been thinking. The ring can turn into a bridal brawl. Bodies flying and bones cracking. But there's a glimmer of beauty in that chaos. Now, what if we could take all that pain and fury and put it to good use, eh? A charity submission match where the art of the tap out meets the heart of raising a few quid for those in need. Alright. Hello, I don't really know how to do... I think it's like R2 and circle, right? <laughs> hey, BCW. Go forth, juice box. Go do things. Oh, there we go. Yeah, R2 in circle. Oh, God. Oh no! Whoa, what was that? Never wake up.
Ha <laughs> ha! Uh oh. What? Why? That's a, that's one of the things I don't like in this game is it's like yeah there's just like a really limited time limit on fucking submission moves I guess cuz the ref just auto breaks the submission after a while which is fucking ridiculous Come on. <sighs> oh, I guess that's allowed. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Tavish. Come on. Oh, come on! Uh. Ah, so he does bleed red. Why is he so hard to beat still? Why are the fucking submissions so difficult in this game? <laughs> That's it, we're just gonna keep doing finishers on him. What? 
How was he... He was stunned. How was he able to reverse? Man, this game's mechanics just do not function properly. <laughs> oh wow, it didn't even give me like an option. Let me grab him. What the? Oh, man. There we go. I only had to do like five fucking finishers on him. Look at Juice Box, he's all busted open and shit. Looks like the Pelicans are still winning. Good for them. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Troy, what you got? Oh, challenging the longest reigning intercontinental champion in WWE history. Oh, that's who fortune favors, Troy. The Bulls. I suppose we'll have to see about that. I'm hoping that means you have some good news for me. And Miz has agreed to my request for a match with Gunther? Oh, no. Absolutely not. Miz giving you anything without strings? Could you even imagine? No, but I didn't imagine having to deal with you at the airport either. Lucky day for everyone. Gunther could certainly be in the cards, but why rush into it when Miz has so many hand-picked opponents for you? Like Bronson Reed, who you'll be taking on in a non-title match next. You ready to head to the arena? <sighs> this might be the first time you've ever given me good news, Troy. I can't wait to get Bronson in the ring. My goals reach no higher than the happiness of SmackDown's WWE Universal Champion. Undisputed. You left out a word there, buddy. <laughs> Alright, into the story gate we go. Bronson Reed. Here comes Big Bronson Reed. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia. Weighing in at 330 pounds. Bronson Reed. 
Bryson Reed tips the scale. Is it over 330 pounds? But is the agility of a man half his size? Then when that tsunami comes crashing down, you know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping. Pardon me, Stu. Tsunami! <laughs> All right. It's a superstar who couldn't be denied and now electrifies the WWE Universe. <laughs> Look at him go. Nope. A once forgotten man who is now etched in the annals of WWE history. <laughs> This is inspiration personified. Sure, but he better be careful or he might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. Hey. For a superstar that always has something to prove, his next opportunity starts now. The undisputed WWE Universal All right, Browns and Reed, let's go. A huge opportunity to be putting the title on the line. That's ridiculous, Corey. The champ has never backed down from a challenge. Because he's blinded by his ego, Cole. Sooner or later, that's going to catch up to him. From the top. Come on, got out of there. That misstep could have cost them this match entirely. Oh, waiting for sure. And now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Oh, man. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. He fends off the attack. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Up the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? Bring him the top. Whoa, look out. Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. Ooh. Brought back into the ring right. from the floor now. Stop that. Oh shit. Oh. And the referee gets caught in the line of fire. Heading on be sinking back. Good lord. Taking flight. What a reckless attack. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line. Oh, into the ring post. <laughs> Fuck your turnbuckles.
Looking to take flight here. Oh, boy, he's talking to him. Watching Sky High. Whoa. This is troublesome for Reed. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Oh man. What? That's mm, I didn't even hold it down. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Oh no. Decided to take a leap of faith and paid the price. Oh my god, just get back in the fucking ring, Bronson. Charles. The ref's got to be better than that. Can we close things out? What? Finally disqualified me, I guess. Fine. A huge opportunity would be putting the title on the line. That's ridiculous, Corey. The champ has never backed down from a challenge. Because he's blinded by his ego, Cole. Sooner or later, that's going to catch up to him. Gets him with the counter. From the top rope. Delilies. Impact. Nah. <laughs> oh no. Bam. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ref, how dare. That ref. Woo! Oh no.
reigning intercontinental champion in history. And the ring general is giving his answer. Let's both fuck around and find out, Gunther. And our so-called undisputed champs not doing a damn thing about it. Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Roman Reigns. Hey, simpy boy. Where the hell is he, Troy? Yeah, Troy. Our general manager? He doesn't report to me. Zero interest in small talk, Troy. I want Gunther now. Do you? I mean, he was standing right in front of you, and you didn't do anything about it. What are you trying to say? I'm not trying, trying to say, say anything, anything, champ. champ. <sighs> over social media. I was just reading a post from Roman Reigns that made you look like a joke. All the more reason not to keep stalling. Except there is. Our Intercontinental Champion is very important to the future of SmackDown, and Miz is off making sure that his top superstar is happy. Oh. Uh, what now, Troy? What flaming hoop do I have to jump through for Miz to give me what both of us already want? You will be facing the ring general's top lieutenant, Ludwig Kaiser. All right. If I didn't know any better, I'd say Miz is doing the thing where he tries to wear me down before my next big match. Miz would never. <laughs> I'm out, Troy. I'll beat Kaiser. Then Miz had better give me Gunther so we can settle this once and for all. A man who has nothing but disdain for his competition, Ludwig Kaiser. Ludwig Kaiser. Surveying the battlefield for the conflict to come. <sighs> too tired. This might be the last match for the day. I'm just too tired. It's not funny, but I'm just so tired. Maybe I need to make some coffee. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. Hey. It's Juice Box. He's a juice box. And he works for Psycho Juice Box. Can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't judge a wrestler by where they start their career. 
Match after match, the Dark Horse is turning doubters into believers. But the doubts are probably the very thing that fueled it. He really should be thanking those of us who didn't have his back. The Champs Next Challenge starts now. All right, Kaiser. for the comeback everybody alright and there you go buddy It's Giovanni Vinci. And the dark horse went right into it. Score one for Gunther. Well, I guess I can do some more. Since that one was so short. All right, Troy. Ah, oh, you look like you've been in a car accident, champ. Uh, Miss wanted me to extend his deepest sympathies. Oh, that's not exactly how we phrased it on social media. <laughs> I can't believe the flowers haven't arrived already. I'll have to put in a call. I just got the hell beaten out of me, Troy, in another one of Miz's traps. You sure, you sure you want to be, be doing, doing this right, right now? No, 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 I am not. Gunther and his lackeys jumped me. I want to show them why I'm the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. <laughs> up close and personal. Then you'll be happy to know that Miz has given you exactly what you want. You'll get your wish when you face Imperium next week. In a gauntlet match. Gauntlet match? Booyaka, booyaka. Strategy taking on Imperium 
in a gauntlet match. Uh, Woo! Do it? Seriously, this is a terrible idea. It's not too late to back out, champ. All right. Let's do a gauntlet match with Gunther. Giovanni Vinci. Giovanni Vinci, a man who brings even more style and class to Imperium. Yeah, and living proof that bald is beautiful. Well, that makes you living proof that there's exceptions to every rule, Saxton. God damn. Pretty magical uh, thing that we just did. Oh no. Vinci, let's go to Suplex City. Crunchy sound that he made when he hit the ground. Come on, buddy. Alright. Just eat the fist and go to bed. Kaiser. 
Just look at the WWE Universal Champion. This guy's already hurting, and he's only in the second fight of the gauntlet. Of course he's hurting. I'm not, though. He was looking to hurt the champ. And what do you think Ludwig Kaiser is going to do in this match? Have you learned never to count the WWE Universal Champion? Like, look at me. I did quite well. Kick to the stomach. Kick to the stomach. Puts an end to that. And that failed to hit the ball. Oh my god. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Oh, Kaiser holding him at bay. Come on. Ah. <laughs> what? What? Come on, Ludwig. Well, let's see if this keeps him down. I guess so. Ilya? I mean, I do think Ilya Dragunov would fit in rather well with Imperium, but like... The German suplex. Let's fly. Come on, Ilya. Let's get in the fucking ring. <laughs> oh, come on. Claw. And that can keep down. Two. The ring general's master plan has failed. There he is. Alright everyone, well, I think that's gonna be it for today, as I am tired, I've just kinda got no energy, and my mouth is hurting, so I will see y'all next time, and have a good day, goodbye!